uh, yeah, I, uh, I moved to the Valley about 10 years ago. Um, I'm from the East Coast. Uh, met my wife and a happy wife. Uh, happy life. <laughs> yes, um, that's right. Yeah. So finished residency in, in Miami and South Beach, and uh, we moved out to the West Coast and uh, made Phoenix at home. I've been been here 10 years, and I've loved every minute of it. Good. Um, I've been part of the Thunderbird organization for eight years. Wow. Um, and it's uh, <clears throat> it's been a very special organization for multiple reasons. One, you know, got to meet a lot of great people, um, but the good that this organization is part of uh, throughout the Valley is very special and something that's been uh, something I'm very, very proud of and, and it continues to grow. Uh, and the impact that this event has on this community uh, is is never been more apparent in right. the last two years. Right. Uh, and we got to see it firsthand. You know, last year, uh, obviously a much uh, smaller event, uh, and that came with uh, consequences that we didn't even really fully appreciate until, you know, we were getting ready to, to hold the event and all of the charitable organizations that we impact throughout the Valley, and there's right. hundreds of them, um, you know, they felt the squeeze. And so we, we kind of, as an organization, put boots on the ground and, and went out uh, as, as a group and visited these, uh, these entities and, and saw the need that was there. And it really, really it hit home that we might not be able to perform uh, the way that we had in the past right. because of the crowds. And so we're just so excited to see things trending back to normal because we know the need is there and we feel the obligation to get that money back yeah. in the community. Yeah, yeah, that's, it's great. And you know, I, I think that um, so often people think, and when the Thunderbirds, they think of the Open, uh, there's just such an amazing charitable component uh, of everything that the Thunderbirds do. Can you kind of speak to your role this year as, as the chairman and then kind of that, that connectivity to the community and that charitable um, that charitable component of the Thunderbirds that I, that, um, I, I think our listeners love to hear. I think it, a lot of them don't understand that, you know, they think it's a big party, but they don't understand <clears throat> all the, the donations that you do and, and how much you do contribute to the community. Yeah, this is the 87th uh, hosting of the, the Phoenix Open. And so for 87 years, the Thunderbirds, uh, the charge of the Thunderbirds is to promote the Valley of the Sun through sport. And so it was created in that in, in that vein, and, and has grown to this philanthropic machine um, that you know we are able to uh, host an event that generates so much money, and all of that money goes back to the community. Uh, we we support youth sports throughout the valley and throughout the state, yeah. um, and then uh, the Thunderbird Charities is a organization within the Thunderbirds that takes the big dollars and, and gives them out to those who are in need the most. And it's a significant impact. Yeah. Uh, you know, Phoenix Children's Hospital, um, Helping Hands, mm -hmm. uh, St. Mary's Food Bank, wow. um, and Special Olympics, all are huge uh, parts of our organization. And, and we're so proud, and, you know, the Boys and Girls Club. Right. And so, you know, throughout the year, uh, our organization is made up of uh, two or 300 Thunderbirds. There are 55 actives at okay. all time. Um, and so that part of the organization is kind of the, the core of the active uh, hands on the tournament. Each Thunderbird has a responsibility at the tournament. And I am uh, honored and, and uh, humbled to be the, the guy that oversees yeah. all of the chairmen. So wow. you start from, but in the conversation that we were having prior to, to going on is that you started out, you know, at the, at the, can you talk about that and how did that ascension and then the, what, what as the chairman what kind of what you what you do yeah each and every year we uh, we finish an open and uh, as i said we have 55 active thunderbirds and we have your your thunderbird career as an active uh, ends when you turn 45 okay and hmm. so we uh, we have a uh, recruitment recruitment process that that takes place bring in new thunderbirds and they're uh, quickly assigned to a position at the open okay um, so you start out you know as the assistant parking chairman okay and that's one of the entry-level jobs at the open and it's a lot it's a very very difficult job yeah. and it's uh you know the tip of the spear you know right. they can't get people in uh, they, can, they can't enjoy the open yes. so um, everybody gets that job I was very fortunate to get uh, the parking assistant chairman which uh, was what we were talking about earlier my relationship with the Scottsdale Police Department uh, is is great. I, you know, I have such good friends yeah. within your department, and uh, lifelong friends, and and uh, and you see firsthand how important our relationship is. Yes. And yeah. so, you know, I went from there to the, the parking chairman, and then based on you know your performance, your interests, and and where the chairman at that time sees you uh, fit best, you get 
positioned into the next job. Okay. And so um, I was uh, elected to be the tournament chairman uh, for this year, and uh, it's a huge honor. Uh, yeah. It's a big responsibility, but yeah. at the end of the day, you're, you know, I'm, I'm one of 55 actives and one of two or 300 Thunderbirds yeah. that all come together yeah. and put on this event and, and are very proud of our organization, the traditions, and, and the impact we have. So during that time, you, you were the assistant parking chairman, and then what other, because I know that there's a lot. There's the banners, there's many, there's concessions. Security. Yeah, security, there's there's a lot. What else? Yeah, you, you know, done? at the open, it's a, it's a massive property. It's a massive yes. event. And one of the things that's really important with Thunderbirds, we like to, to keep our hands on, on each and every aspect of it. So I finished parking, and I was, uh, you know, uh, very lucky to be elected the Bird's Nest assistant chairman. Oh, yeah. So oh, I yeah. ran, uh, ran the Bird's Nest for two years. Uh, I was uh, very proud of the year that uh, Snoop Dogg was there yeah. <laughs> and the Chainsmokers. Um, and yeah. we, had an, we had an epic year, uh, record crowds and, and, and record revenue. Yeah. Um, and so I left the bird's nest, and then I uh, was the assistant chairman at Greenskeeper, okay. uh, which is on the 18th hole on the fairway. And, uh, and then following that, I was very surprised and, and honored to be uh, elected the assistant tournament chairman, okay. which I was uh, under Scott Jenkins last year. Yeah. And then uh, this that, year I'll be the, the, the big, tournament chairman. The big dog. Yeah. yeah. Nice. What's funny because uh, Commander Coffee is the bird's nest commander this year. Very so, excited. Yeah. Very it's so excited. fun. <laughs> it is fun. And, and I, too, like you, have kind of worked my way up. Uh, succession planning, we, we do the same thing in the, in the police department. So work my way up through the open. And very honored that Chief uh, is going to let me be the bird's nest chairman. Uh, Commander, yeah, it should be fun. Right. I'll, come, I'll come visit you, and then I'll uh, you. I'll drive away quickly. Can you talk about uh, just real quickly that the bands that are going to be there during the week are? are yeah, we have um, on on Wednesday we have Diplo, um, Cole Swindell, uh, yeah. and that'll be the the kickoff of the Bird's Nest. And and keep in mind the Bird's Nest has not been here for you know two years, right. so I think the the demand, like you said, is going to be off it's the charts. Be, yes. Yeah, we uh, we're expecting all four sellout nights. I'm a little scared. <laughs> well, and then we have the we have the the, the, the I call it the like the pre concert. Yes. Yeah, that Saturday night. Yeah, that's that's something I'm very proud of. We've been working on that for you know five years, and uh, that's kind of uh, the the inaugural uh, concert in the Coliseum. Yeah. Um, you know, one of those things we looked at. We do this build of the city that is the the, the, the TPC of Scottsdale right. February. I mean, right. it's a huge 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 undertaking seven months out of the year it's either being built or taken down and um, <laughs> phenomenal it's crazy. yeah and we, we have concerts and, and great acts coming from all over the country throughout the year we have one of the most intimate and amazing yeah. arenas yeah. in all of sport and so we we've been just really looking at it to utilize that yeah. that venue um, to create bigger impact in the community bring in huge acts and, and this year we have Old Dominion and Thomas Rhett. Yeah. So that's Saturday, that's Saturday before the yeah. event. February 5th before the event we're gonna have 12,000 fans. Right. Um, you know they're gonna filter down into the the 16th hole the iconic 16th hole and we're gonna kick off wow. the week with a great show and yeah. I think it'll be one of those uh, signature iconic music events mm -hmm. that will be here to stay for years and years to come and uh, you know I'm, I'm excited I'm, I'm very proud of that event. Yeah that's gonna be great. <clears throat> yeah. You know we we're talking about the 16 and you know every time i'm out there and just see the massive crowds i always look at the golfers right teeing off and i think how, how do you do that <clears throat> with all of you know all those people and uh and so kind of that golf related question is uh and i don't know if you're a big golfer but which golfers are you most excited to see this year yeah i, mean, I love i love our event i love i love golf um john rom uh he looks at our event as a major uh, he's a he's an asu guy He's committed. He's the number one golfer in the world. Yeah. I'm super excited to have him back. Um, Justin Thomas, uh, Ricky Fowler, Jordan Speed, yeah. uh, Webb Simpson, a returning champion. Brooks Kepka uh, is uh, you know a, a great guy. Just did a 45 minute interview with him on on Zoom. He's two time champion at our event, yeah. so he's coming back. Um, these young guys, it's really cool to see how much they uh, appreciate our crowds. Yeah, you know, there's been years where some golfers don't necessarily love. The, the different atmosphere, <laughs> right. um, but right. I think that has significantly changed. And to your credit, you know, we are one of the only events or the only event on tour that have a uniformed police officer with the golfers right. uh, throughout the final uh, rounds of play. They appreciate that greatly. Um, they love the fan interaction. And I think COVID um, and, and the fallout there really showed the professional athletes 
how important fans are right. and how fun it is to, to play in front of fans. And we saw it last year, you know, Rory McIlroy stepped up to the ball at the Pro-Am and he uh, encouraged the crowd to get to get loud on the first tee. That's great. Uh, you know, I think they, they're excited to have fans back and there's no better place to see fans than our tournament. You can be, I don't know, it just feels like there's such a great environment there. There's a lot of fun, a lot of energy, and you can be, you know, relatively close to your favorite golfer and watch them tee off there. I liken it to spring training and why spring training is so much fun is because you can be closer to your, you know, to your favorite player. And it's just such a great, a great environment. So you've already kind of touched a little bit about it, but throughout the years, um, can you talk a little bit about the partnerships between Scottsdale Police, Scottsdale Fire Pro-M that we gave a shout out to, and Waste Management, and of course, PGA, uh, and the Thunderbirds, and, and why, uh, why it is so successful. And, and my time up there uh, as the security liaison, I talked to the PGA reps, and, and they always say how impressed they are about our partnership and how well the tournament runs compared to other tournaments. So can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I think, that? I think it really starts from the exact day that the, the previous tournament ends. Our relationship with the Scottsdale Police Department and, and you uh, is, is so close and, um, you know, and so powerful and uh, so welcoming. You know, we rely on, you know, you were together ambassadors of this event. And, yeah. and that's what I think the public should really appreciate. You know, it, sometimes there's a negative connotation to seeing the police force somewhere, but you guys are the ambassadors of fun. You know, without you there, we can't do or have the fun that we have. Right. So um, <clears throat> we... Um, I'm going to like that. I'm going to steal that. Uh, ambassadors steal of that. fun. The yeah. police department is ambassadors <laughs> right. of fun. That yeah, is I mean, great. It's, I, I, like that. I like that. It's, it's what allows <laughs> us to have such a huge event and have it safely, uh, you know, and, and complete a, a great week without having any, any significant hiccups. Right. You know, having that many people come in and out of such a small area. You know, it's 200 acres, but the amount of people that, that come in and out yeah. on, the, on the highways, it's impressive. It, and so, um, <clears throat> and pro am and fire yeah. and, and waste management. I mean, they are integral in that. I mean, waste management does a phenomenal job, you know, cleaning, cleaning up after everybody and making sure that it is pristine the next day. Yeah, we're very lucky. We have, you know, I, I often say the greatest title sponsor in all of sport, and and uh, waste management uh, has been um, amazing. You know, their energy, the culture they bring to our tournament. Um, it just goes hand in hand and, and, and Scottsdale Fire Department. And so, you know, right away, our, our chairman, our security chairman um, and, and the chairman of the Bird's Nest, the tournament chairman and our entire group engages the relationships with the police department, with right. the fire department, um, with Pro-Am and our partners on course. And it's just a well-oiled machine. And, and I think uh, and I hope you, you all know that uh, you're so important to us. Um, we, you know, we encourage, uh, you know, close interaction and, and we love, we love meeting, you know, every morning we have meetings with you guys and, and how can we make it better? You right. know, how did yes- yesterday go? Where did we have any problems? Let's make it better today. Let's work together and, and improve the event, which it just, at the end of the day, brings out more people, yeah. brings out more money and more money goes back to the community. Yeah, really that feeling of safety. People know when they come out that, <clears throat> excuse me, that they're gonna be, it's, they're gonna be safe and, and it's gonna be a great uh, atmosphere. And those relationships I just uh, I think are just the absolute foundational component. It's funny because we were talking about uh, my special events uh, sergeant, the coordinator, and Wes Schaefer, who you know well. Shout out to Wes. my boy. Shout out, shout Wes out to Wes Schaefer. Boy. And Wes is always like, oh, yeah, I'll get Golding over there. Golding, Golding. It's not <laughs> Dr. Golding. It's not any of this. It's like, yeah, Golding this and Golding. And so I just, I, that to me is so cool because that just speaks to a great relationship. Um, you know, with, with between us and, and, and all the Thunderbirds. And so it's just those little, little those little things that you put a smirk on your face that you know people are, are, are really connected to one another to make this the best event possible. 100%. And I'm glad you said that. Wes Schaefer is one of my good friends. And uh, so right away, first first year uh, as a Thunderbird, we, we became good friends. And it's just great to have that, that point of contact. You know, if, if he needs anything, he knows he can call me right away and it gets done, yeah. vice versa. Did Wes ever tell you, you know, that he, I put him in that position years and years ago, and he went into it kicking and screaming. 2015. And, uh, and, and so when I was the bureau chief, and uh, I think it's been one of the best things for him, his personal growth as a, as a supervisor in the organization, but the connectivity that he has with the Thunderbirds, with the Charos, with, with just, with everybody, with, with the, with Pro-Am, with, it just, it's amazing. And so I'm, I'm, uh, 
yeah, shout out to Wes for me too. Uh, that just, he was the right man for that for the spot. Absolutely, he didn't know it at the time, but he knows it now. I I, I, uh, I stole his golf cart at one point uh, by mistake. So he uh, it was a funny story out in parking. I you know, it was late at night, and we were trying to get everybody out of the golf course, and and you know I had to go uh, do another task, and jumped in a golf cart and, and took off. Didn't know it was his, and, and he called me a little bit later in the night. He said, hey, you, "I have your golf cart. You have mine." So it's pretty funny. <laughs> We yeah, take his golf cart all the time. Yeah, he's a good. It's very funny. Good dude. So, interesting question for you is: What is the one thing you would tell spectators about coming out to the Open this year? You know, I think this year uh, more than it, the, the demand is high. So make your plans early, um, and certainly, uh, you know, make sure you uh, get out there early um, and be patient. You know, like Patience. like you said, I think I think we're all excited to be back to normal, and I think with that comes a responsibility to understand that uh, with the crowds comes, you know, there's it just needs to be some patience and some um, understanding and some grace uh, with the process. Um, I, you know, I've been to golf events and, and events all over the world, really, and, and I'm so proud of how well our yes. event is run. And we pride ourselves uh, together, the, the police force and the Thunderbirds and, and Scottsdale Fire, on how well it is run. But at the end of the day, there's there's going to be lines. There's going to be yeah. some delays yeah. getting in and off the property. Absolutely. And you know, and and I hope and I and I expect and, and I've seen in the past our community comes together safely, and the patience is there. But I think this year more than ever, just have an understanding. You know, we've all talked about supply chain right. issues. We've all talked about shortages of staff. You know, with ride share um, and and getting people in and off the property. Yeah. You know, there's probably going to be some hiccups, but we're Definitely. we're committed to making it the best possible. Uh, environment and and experience that we can and so you know that, that's what i'd ask is yeah. just you know a little patience patience Spot respect on. the game yep. yeah respect the yeah. players respect, respect the game yeah. and respect each other yeah. you use three words there that i think are just so spot on patience grace and understanding yeah um yeah, not only I think we have to put, yes. put that out. We'll give you a quote on, on our social media right. and those three, but those those three really, if you applied those three to everyday living, people yes. we'd all be getting along a whole lot better. But in this, you're ta- remember where you're going. You're going to a place that's vibrant and exciting, but a lot of people want to go to. Going to have a little bit more patience. Mm-hmm. If you know the bus to the ride share lot, if you're in a line, a little patience. You, this is and so it, we just. Patience. Treating each other with a little bit more dignity and respect, and having a great time out in the sun, and and uh, out on a great course, and and uh, that, you know, party on grass and some great golf. Yeah, and I would you know I would, I would tell all the patrons that I see it firsthand for eight years. The police force is out there to ensure you're having a good time, right? Not to take away from your time. So understand that you know, thank them when you're out there, and 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 just enjoy the 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 day, the day you're out there, and and understand we're all trying to have a good time with you. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Ambassadors of fun. Yeah. <laughs> I really like that. We're going to post that somewhere. Thank you. Yeah. 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 We know that uh, 2022 is going to be record breaking. Uh, people want to get out, um, but we're already planning 2023 because the exciting thing about 2023, Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. So Super Bowl is going to be at the same time as the Waste Management Open. And so if you can talk a little bit about, you know, the planning of that and, and maybe... Is it different for you, yeah. you know, in expecting with the Super Bowl here, do you have to do anything, are you thinking about anything, that Thunderbirds thinking about anything different or is it just status quo, we're gonna work on our event and they're gonna work on their event and we're gonna be good to go? You know, we, we currently work hand in hand with the Super Bowl host committee. Um, so yeah, it's different. Mm-hmm. Um, certainly, our event is the focus uh, for Absolutely. us. Absolutely, um, but we for us too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but it, it it definitely is. It provides a different spin. I think in t- 2015, it's just a little bit bigger. It's a, a you know a little bit more significant. There's just more crowds in and around the town. Yeah. Um, but from a standpoint of our event, you know, we enjoy the energy that comes along with having the Super Bowl here. Um, but our event, you know, is is what it is every year. Yeah. Um, I don't think we really run our event any differently. Okay. But uh, but you know, but there's there's certainly an aspect more energy. There's huge demand, and and that demand I think has been building up over the past seven years. You know, the the corporate uh, sponsorship, the corporate interest in the open. Uh, is elevated to an extent that we, you know, don't see any other year when right. it's Super Bowl. So we have to prepare for that and and maximize that 
um, that demand uh, to maximize our impact on the community. So we're always looking for ways to uh, improve the fan experience, improve the hospitality experience. And that's why every year, including this year, you're gonna see every venue on our course. You know, we have a million square feet wow. of hospitality. Wow. wow. Um, and that's- <laughs> well, I know I mean, the Ridge, yeah. the Ridge has grown from, yep. you know, a booth to now, now 35,000 square foot platform <laughs> right. um, with Phenomenal. hospitality and amenities throughout for our general admission fan. It really shows our commitment to being the people's open. And, you know, so the Super Bowl year, we want to maximize the impact on the community. And to do that is preparation. And yeah. so we'll prepare. We'll make sure that the hospitality uh, needs are met by the you know the demand. And, and to do that, it's just going to take you know, another full force effort between yeah. you guys and us, yeah. and we'll do a great job, and I know you will too. You think uh, the Saturday uh, concert will be something that you're going to do again? A hundred percent. That was our goal, you know, I've been working with the team uh, within Thunderbirds to get this off the ground this year, right. um, show that we can do it, which we know we can. Um, and I think it'll be, uh, you know, spinning into the Super Bowl year, it's going to be an exciting year. I'm going to. I'm hoping to chair that event next year and, yeah. uh, and get, get an act that's going to blow people's minds. Mm -hmm.